Welcome to Electron Line. Finding the Fourier series of a periodic function, a non-trigonometric periodic function, is essentially finding the constants a sub naught, a sub n, and b sub n. In this video, we're going to show you how to find the constant a sub naught. To do that, we're going to integrate both sides of this equation. Remember that this is a general form of the Fourier series that any periodic function f of t can be written as an infinite sum of cosines and sines in this particular fashion. So let's find a sub naught by integrating both sides from 0 to t over a single period of the periodic function. So on the left side we get the integral from 0 to t of f of t and that would be equal to the integral of the right side which would be the integral from 0 to t of a sub naught, and of course I need a dt there, so I can't forget the dt, so this is a sub naught times dt, and that would be also plus the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of the integral, it would be the sum of these integrals, so it would be the integral from 0 to t of a sub n cosine of n omega t dt, let me put a bracket around it like this, plus the sum from 0 to t of b sub n times cosine, oh, not cosine, this one is the sine of n omega t dt. Let's close brackets. Now you're going to be glad that we did the previous video, because if you look, we can take a, a sub n outside integral sine and b sub n outside integral sine, and what's left is exactly the same as the first two integrals we had on the previous video that told us that if we integrate from 0 to the period of the cosine of n omega t, or integrate from 0 to the period of the sine of n omega t, we get 0. So the integral of these two, the integral of these two integrals is equal to 0. Which means that this is all that we have left. That means that the integral from 0 to t of f of t dt, and of course we can't integrate that yet because at this point f of t can be any periodic function, is equal to this. So this is equal to a sub naught times the integral of dt, which is t evaluated from 0 to t. If we plug in the upper limit, we get a sub naught times the period. Plug in the lower limit, we get 0. So this means that the integral from 0 to t of the periodic function of which we're trying to find the Fourier series times dt is equal to a sub naught times t. And solving this for a sub naught by simply dividing both sides of the equation by the period and then rearranging the equation, we can say that a sub naught is equal to 1 over the period times the integral from 0 to the period of the periodic function in question times dt. And this integral then will give us the constant term of that periodic function. So all we have to do to find it, take the integral of both sides with the limit from 0 to the period, realizing then that these two integrals will go to 0, solve this integral, which is simply t, and then solve for a sub naught. And that's how we find the first of the three constants of the Fourier series, the constant term. And on the next videos, we'll show you how to find these two constants. Of course, that will be a little bit more involved, but again, following this kind of technique, it's not going to be that difficult. And that's how it's done.